and I decided to uh, rent an apartment. That was back in the day when you bought the St. Louis newspaper, the Post-Dispatch, and looked in the apartments page at the back. And I told Mildred we'd um, try 50 landlords before we gave up. And it never occurred to me we'd get up to 47, but we did. <laughs> Finally, we rented a small house on Davis Street and picked up three women. Each of them had been in the hospital for more than 20 years. Each of them was really quite competent. And I decided, why not? So we moved them out. And at first, myself, hospital aides, we'd go and visit daily just to make sure everything worked out. And finally, after maybe a couple of weeks, things were clearly starting to work out. And then we moved on, rented an apartment for three men, and then another, and so on and so on. So we decided to set up a non-profit agency to do the business end of things. So in 72, we sat down and invented places for people. Places was fairly easy. We, were wanting, we wanted people to have a, a place to live, which is the most important thing. And then a place in the community, which is another important thing. So that was an easy choice. And then people was equally easy. You know, they're people like the rest of us. They're not a special crowd, they're people. So places for people just fell into place. And I was very happy about that. And happy to see it persists as a, a title, you know, because it says everything that we wanted to say. People need a place and they're like the rest of us. It's providing the services to people that are as independent as possible. And of course, that's the founding principle that um, everybody, everybody deserves a chance. And they also deserve respect for the struggle that they're going through. And you can't throw them away and forget about them. I'd like people to remain true to their basic belief, which is they can do something to make things better. It's always a choice. And it's very clear to just about everybody what the choice is going to be, the better one or the not so good one. And if everybody would focus on making a better choice each time, life would improve a great deal.